Hey there and welcome to another Dave Does. Today we are checking out the wonderful band that is Love Bites and the song is Shadow Maker. Uh, this video has been sitting here in my watch later list for over a year now. I apologise for the people that requested me to check it out and I haven't had a chance to do it. I've just had been rather busy with all the other hundreds of oh, thousand videos or so I've done in the last 12 months. Uh, so yeah, we're finally there. We're going to check out some more Love Bites. Now, I have done Love Bites on a few times. I've given honest critical feedback the bits i've liked about them there are some bits i've not been overly, overly uh fan of i think there's some of the theatrics i wasn't a huge fan of before uh but i haven't done love bites for over a year so i'll be intrigued to see since then i've watched a lot more bands i've checked out lots more stuff so i'm wondering if my thoughts and feelings towards them have changed because they often do the more you listen to different bands, uh, you get a different appreciation for music. So let's find out. Now, as always, if you like the video, please do subscribe, click the bell icon, like and share. There is no pausing or talking during the video. Uh, that way you get to enjoy the song, I get to enjoy the song, and I will share my thoughts and feelings at the end. Let's do this. Count it in. Three, two, one. Go.
There we have it, Love Bites and Shadow Maker. That is a pretty much metal masterpiece there, if I ever did say so. Uh, it's full on heavy, it's kick ass metal. I love the overall production. The dual solos were insane. Uh, there was even like a kind of a Dimebag Daryl from Pantera kind of guitar tones in there, which was cool. I was just sitting there thinking that if Dimebag Daryl was still alive, uh, he went and heard that, he would absolutely love it. Uh, there was some insane shredding going on there. Um, and I think my thoughts on the vocals are still the same as they were on previous reactions I've done. I'm not a massive fan of her vocal style. I think they're growing on me. I think it started growing me on this as the song went on. And I was, I meant that mindset that I'm still trying to work out what it is exactly. That just makes me not love the vocals. And I think it sound is because it sounds like the vocals have got consistent vibrato on them. There seems to be this. Uh, her tone has always got this vibration vibration going on it. I, I I can't hear it smooth out at any point. So I think that's what it is that bugs me a little bit about the vocals. But as soon as I stopped thinking about that and I could just kind of just vibe out on the track, I was fine. As soon as I started thinking about trying to break the song down, I was listening to the drums, listening to the bass guitar, loving all of it, loving the feel of the track, and then the vocals would go in, and I was kind of going, what if it was a different singer? What if, how else would this sound? Uh, and that's where my head kept going on it. But I think it's one of those ones that I think the more I'd listen to Love Bites, the probably the less the vocals would annoy me, and the more I'd probably start to appreciate the vocals. I think that's how it is because it's a it's a, probably a more of a unique vocal stance uh, and there's there are bands out there where there's so many people with unique vocals that um, I think there's plenty of room. No one has to, not everyone has to sound the same. You can have people with different vocal styles and not everyone's gonna love them. Uh, you don't have to. Ever, no one has to love every single band. I'm sure there will be the people that will watch this video and you know who you are because you're watching it are usually gonna be the Love Bites fans. So uh, they, everyone wants everyone to say, and I think I've known, having done two and a half thousand reaction videos, um, I know if you give negative feedback on a video, you are gonna get the haters. No one likes criticism. Um, I still give the criticism, and I've said, given it here, I think that there's this weird vibrato tone in her voice. I don't know if it's her natural singing tone or what it is, but it's it's there. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I mean, I've had a quick look through the comments on the actual video itself. No one really talks. I haven't found anyone really talking about the vocals. Everyone's talking about the shredding. Everyone's talking about the, uh, the just the riffing on there. The only thing that says pop style melody vocals, but not specifically about the vocal style. Um, yeah, more about the rhythm, the guitars. Uh, best band ever, yada yada yada. Uh, talk about their outfits, fair enough. Power metal bands. So yeah, I haven't really seen anyone do any conversation about vocals on it. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below about her vocals. Uh, am I is am I just missing it? Is it just something that I just need to get past? Probably is, to be honest. Uh, and just keep listening to the band and maybe take us more on. I think I even have one of their albums. I may have. Uh, I just may not have listened to it yet. <laughs> I get to that stage sometimes. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. It'll be useful for me. Now, if you like this video, please do subscribe, click that like on, like, share, leave your comments down below. And that, of course, is how Dave does it.